Hey there, folks. This is Mark, and welcome to Anaerobic Alchemy, where we explore sustainable practices to manage our food waste. Today, I'm excited to introduce you to a project I've been working on in our backyard, my very own anaerobic digester. Let's start from the beginning. Back in July 2022, I embarked on this journey by building my digester based on the designs provided by the international nonprofit organization Solar Cities. I'll provide links in the comments section below to their website and their Facebook page so you can learn more about this innovative organization and the low tech designs that are being adopted and used around the world to manage food waste. With a little elbow grease and patience, I transformed a 275 gallon IBC, which is short for International Bulk Container, into a liquid home for a whole village of microorganisms that break down food waste without using oxygen, hence the name anaerobic. The alchemy comes in because of the ability of these microbes to transform food waste into useful products, but more about that later. These microbes are found in the guts of plant-eating animals like cows and horses, so by simply adding their manure to the IBC, it didn't take long for the magic to happen. Just add water and stir, and three weeks later, a mixture of methane and carbon dioxide, also known as biogas, was bubbling up from the IBC. I was able to ignite the biogas and create a sustained flame indicating that the microbes had consumed all the oxygen in the IBC and they were breaking down the manure anaerobically. As I mentioned earlier, biogas is one usable product of anaerobic digestion. And the other beneficial product is the liquid fertilizer. After the first flame, I was able to feed the digester daily on the food waste that was collected by kitchen staff that run the meals program of my church as well as the food scraps and leftovers that we generated at home. The food waste, or also known as the feedstock, was processed in a garbage disposer and then poured into the digester with approximately a one-to-one -one ratio of ground food waste and water. Since then, I've been able to modify my camp stove, my barbecue, and even my gasoline generator to run on the biogas produced right here in my backyard. The biogas I'm collecting is powering not only my cooking appliances, but also helping to reduce my carbon footprint. And the liquid fertilizer is helping to irrigate and feed our plants and trees. After each digester feeding, I collect the digestate or the liquid fertilizer in a five gallon bucket and pour it out around our plants and trees, nourishing them with that nutrient rich goodness. To keep my digester cozy and warm, especially during those chilly winter nights, I've invested in a portable greenhouse. Every little bit helps. I've also wrapped the IBC in black plastic that aids in heat absorption and blocking out sunlight that otherwise would encourage growth of microbes that produce oxygen. And there you have it, folks. My journey with anaerobic digestion has been exciting and fun. I'm passionate about implementing systems that we can use to close the loop on food waste by providing a sustainable way to manage our waste, keep that waste out of our landfills, and provide us with valuable products that can improve our soil and power our lives. Until next time, thanks for watching.